All right, uh, SmackDown notes before we go here. The show opened with L.A. Knight, Sheamus, Rey Mysterio, and Cameron Grimes four-way. And uh, this is part of a little mini-tournament to uh, set up a shot at Austin Theory. And uh, last year, they or last week, they were pushing L.A. Knight. This week, he got the big superstar entrance, got to do a promo on the way to the ring. And then he lost. Rey Mysterio pinned Grimes. Yeah. He well, is going on to face Santos Escobar. Well, they wanted to just do Rey Mysterio and Grimes. That's, I mean, Rey Mysterio, they wanted to do Rey, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar for the uniqueness of it. And, um, you know, they're not burying L.A. Knight. I mean, they're just taking their They're not burying the guy, but you know what? The guy is super over. He's super over, And yeah. they had, like last week, everybody did an insert promo except they, L.A. Knight. He came out him, before the crowd. Well, that, that tells you that, tells you that they the know. Same thing here. He came out before the crowd. Yeah, and then he didn't win. So that, I hope they tells... have a plan here, and not just hey, let's let's lead these people on and not ever give them it, something. It, they they're they're if if they were not if they were giving him the same as everybody else, you could say maybe they don't see it, maybe they're not. They are they are very much in control of this one. Um, now whether it's right or wrong, you know, time will tell. But the idea that they don't know or they're not going to push him, no, they are gonna push him they are you know they're they're right they're doing it they're they're you know they're producing him as if he is a star in on every every week's tv show they're making him look you know they're putting him in a position to be a star they're not giving him the big win because you know again okay so let's say let's if you give him the big win what are you gonna do you're gonna have santos escobar beat him or you're gonna put theory in there and have theory beat him no i'm gonna have him go and beat theory what if that's not the plan yet? What if they have got? I don't that care idea? what the plan is; it's fake. It doesn't that, that's the new plan. He beats Austin Theory. You kidding well, me? I, I You've been watching that, Austin Theory lately. Well, I know, but the thing is, is like I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure that they have their idea. It's like if they were burying him. I mean, like he didn't take the pin here, you know. Um, and I mean the whole. You know, it's like I'm not saying the guy got buried. I'm simply pointing out that you you led the fans on for several weeks that something was going to happen. And you did not give it to them. So I'm hoping that you have a plan. Well, yeah, because the, plan the fans isn't... want something here. Well, they 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 said it when he didn't win uh, the ladder match. You don't worry. There's a plan. All right. And, well, I'll wait. Okay. I mean, it's it's they've been doing a pretty good job so far. I mean, when it comes to this stuff, um, you know, I mean, I can't. I can't knock their booking because, you know, again, like that, you know, all those people were like, okay, you know, if Cody doesn't win and it's like their business is bigger now, you can argue, you can argue Cody's bigger. I think Cody would have been bigger had he won the title. But the point is, is that Roman is bigger than ever. Business is bigger than ever. When business starts to go down, you know, then you got to react when business is going up. It's like you play the pat hand when business is going up. And then when it starts to go down, then you start doing other things. But, I mean, L.A. Knight has nothing to do with any of that because L.A. Knight's not going to change the business or anything like that. He's, you know, that, that's not, he's not, I don't see L.A. Knight being the guy that's beating Roman Reigns, put it that way. But L.A. Knight will be, it's, it's, it's so clear that they are going to push him because they're giving him all this promo time right now. But right now, I think that the idea is, is that whatever they've got with, whether it's Santos Escobar, you know, they may want to, they may be wanting to use Rey Mysterio to get Santos because I, I sense that they want to do something with Santos, you know, and it may just be, again, you know, like one of the things right now and it has to do with the, it's actually the big part of the, the combate, not so much the combate story, but the Univision story, which is that, you know, um, Hispanic, you know, you got to, you, it, it, it's, it would behoove both AEW and WWE to find themselves a top Spanish singles baby face it, and not just a guy who you push you know what I mean like and and Ray is too old to be that guy at this point he can't be your 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 star and maybe they're gonna try with Santos to be that guy and maybe that's what this is about you know they had Santos beat um, actually it's so funny with their booking because they had Santos beat theory in the non-title match and I was like god damn oh that's so bad because the way they book if you win, that means you're probably losing next. Now, if he had lost, I would go, okay, maybe that maybe they're going to do something with him because they book in that weird way because of freaking their mentality that a baby face. If we're pushing the baby face, we have to keep not having him win. 
So, which is the LA Knight thing, by the way. Um, and and it's it's not really. Sometimes it works. A lot of times it doesn't. It it doesn't more often than it does. So in that sense, but like if they were beating LA Knight, and I was going like, okay, they're doing that theory again where we're going to keep beating him. Um, so the people really want him to win, and then we're going to give him the win, and they're going to be happy, and we've strung it along longer and everything like that. But they're not beating him. He's just like he didn't lose the ladder match. He just didn't win. And in this case, he didn't lose. You know, he wasn't the guy who was pinned. So they're they're not, you know, beating him. They're just going with somebody else right now for the match probably to lose. You know, they don't want to beat him in the big match. And it's better for him to lose the multiple person match and not get pinned than go into that bigger match and then get beat. That's not that's probably not a good thing for him. And we had Charlotte Neal Sky, which went sixteen minutes, which was too long. And uh They did some good stuff, but but um yeah. We had a Shotzi video that aired on the big screen okay, targeting okay, but, but, Bailey. Okay, so so there was that the Charlotte Neal Sky was also thrown together at the end. Um there was a couple of people who were scheduled on the show that uh, did not appear for in some cases for COVID related reasons. Not necessarily had COVID, but perhaps were around it but there was covid reasons that, that a few things on the show were changed and charlotte neo sky was was a late replacement because uh, that was not the original plan well the shotzi video aired targeting bailey and uh this she was to... she was okay like in the sense of she, i mean you could see when she was walking that um she was not 100 percent but she wasn't really like she wasn't limping. She wasn't on crutches, so I thought that was a good sign. When she walked, you know, like it it, it wasn't dramatically obvious that she had had a knee injury. But when you look, you could see she's she was walking carefully. But that's a good you know after you know last week last weekend when it looked like you know she might have blown out the knee that she just had surgery on. The idea that she's out there. And walking, I think, and moving around and not really having big problems, I thought that was a super positive sign. Charlotte hit the natural selection and got the pin. Then Oscar at the ring beat up Charlotte, put her in the arm bar. Charlotte tapped. So they're building up that uh, SummerSlam three-way. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.